My husband and I are hobby beekeepers, and the way that we used to extract our honey was with a manual hand crank extractor. Each year, as our honey increased, so did the work. So we decided to go electric. This video will give our review of the Vivor Electric Honey Extractor. We'll test out how well it works and also give a demonstration of its assembly. First things first, take it out of the box and remove the plastic and other packing materials. Included are the legs, valve, and lid, along with an instruction manual and all the screws, nuts, and bolts needed. However, you will need to provide your own wrench or pliers and a Phillips screwdriver. We had to remove the motor so that we could reach in and set the frame holding basket into place. Simply lift it up and set it in. Afterwards, to place the motor back on, turn the side bolts upward and align the motor to fit with the bolts. Then tighten the nuts. Next, this part needs to be moved into place. Loosen the bolt first, then move it up into an aligned position. Retighten. To attach the legs, line them up with the leg support holes on the extractor's side. Screw in the bolts and tighten securely. Do this for all three legs. Next, stand the unit up to put on the valve. Place the ring on the inside and the valve on the outside. Tighten from the inside. Remove the protective film from the lid pieces and align the three holes with the holes on the hinge. Add the screws and tighten with the screwdriver. Make sure the power is off and the speed dial is set to zero. Plug it in. Here's what it looks like fully assembled. To spin the frames, turn the power on and use the dial to gradually increase the spinning speed. The Viva Electric Honey Extractor can hold four frames at a time, two deeps with either two mediums or two shallows. We're now ready to collect the frames from the hive to extract our honey. With whichever method you use, remove the wax capping over the honeycomb. Load the frames into the frame holding basket. Close the lid, turn on the power, and begin to gradually increase the spin speed. We allowed it to spin for about five minutes on the highest speed setting. Remove and rotate the frame after the first spin to extract the other side. We let it spin for another five minutes on the second side. After each side was spun, here's our honey. Loosen the wing nut to open the valve and voila. With our Vivor electric honey extractor, we are really pleased with the honey yield. We found it to be no less efficient than with the extraction method of the manual hand crank that we were using before. So not only did we get an equal yield of honey, but the great thing is it was way less work and really saved my husband's shoulder and arm. We can also just turn it on and do other things while the frames are spinning. So we're actually able to be more productive with our time. The assembly was relatively relatively just straightforward and basic. We didn't have any challenges with that. So we feel confident to say that if we had a do-over, we would get the same Viva Electric Honey Extractor again. We love it. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Take care. Bye.